its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Thank you. 
this world got into the running back, he wound up getting really good yardage out of it. But it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop him before he could get to the bargain. Here's Logan Kirby to put this one away. Here's Elliot on the kicker. 
listeners of live football picked up in the end zone. He's past the 30, and he is finally going to be taken down. Well, that could have been a really late swing here with the attempt to return the field goal snuffed out. And that'll do it for this first half. Alright, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, let's take a look around the NFL here on this first Sunday of October. We'll start over in Texas at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. And it's the home side who have the lead as they play the second quarter. Carson Wentz has thrown a couple of touchdown passes there. Next, we're off to Baltimore to check on the Ravens at home at M&T Bank Stadium. And they trail the visiting Bills in that ball game at halftime. Devin Singletary, a touchdown run in that first half. Lastly, let's get you to MetLife Stadium to see what's happening with the Giants at home in East Rutherford. And they trail the visiting Chicago Bears. A couple of touchdown strikes there from Justin Fields. We continue on with the check of the next gym stats in that first half for the Jags. And they were able to have a little bit of success on the ground. The question will be, will they stick with it? Or will they be throwing more to try and regain this lead? Meanwhile, for the Eagles, we take a look there at the numbers for them running the football in that first half. Both these teams making their final halftime adjustments. We're just about ready to get back to football. So for the call of the second half, we get back up to Philadelphia. And Brandon got All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Out of the gun, 
this job in front of him. He's giving props to the big fellas in front. It's a good idea. He's a massive man. Second down, back to Sanders. And he went for about five. Up close to the 40. And the Jets have five in the second down. And you're on third down. From the gun, then shoot a throw. That's incomplete, but there is a flag now. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they decline it for his offer. That's my football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Seven yards on the return after a punt by 39. And it will be first and ten as they take over. And this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. Well, you don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like the base is clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Just, make, just messes things up for you know, offensively. But now we've got to go ahead and take it, set it aside, and move forward. Meanwhile, Lawrence is throwing it into the hands of Jones. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play call should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle the quarterback just says, Hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. And his throw is Yeah. 
Yeah. 
Touchdown, here's Elliot on to kick it away. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Aggie elects for the touchback. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try to pick themselves back up. <laughs> Third down, Lawrence. He's good. 
So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Over the middle is good as tight end Ingram. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard game, second and two. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, our defense has come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they double him. You know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different. He's in for a touchdown, but they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. Pinero's extra point up and good. And the lead is down to 24. So the drive winds up going 75 yards. In seven plays. And it was capped off by Trevor Lawrence taking it in himself. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. Brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football era in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score yet, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on the last two drives. Surely feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. They'll start by running the action to 